What's up guys and welcome back to Stuff and Knowledge Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. Now a lot of people are having problems with this game by playing it through Steam or playing it through Battle.net and the game crashes to the desktop, it goes to tun and it crashes to your desktop and you get a black screen error and all this bullshit that Call of Duty is doing right now and it's kind of just fucking horseshit that's happening right now with this fucking game. So I do know a lot of people do play this through Battle.net. Me, personally, I play it through Battle.net. I took the liberty of installing this game on Steam as well, because I know a lot of people do play this on Steam as well. So I'm going to show you how you can fix this, and there's quite easy ways and steps that you can take to fix this common issue that people are running into. Now, a lot of people are running into the issue where they press Alt-Tab and then the game crashes, or they press the Windows key and the game crashes, or just in general, the game crashes overall while you are playing the game. Right. So let's go over the number one, which is the Battle.net version. All right, so you're going to go to this little gear icon over here and then go to Show in Explorer and you're going to go find where your game is installed. Now, do not click on the EXE. You're going to go into this folder here, scroll all the way down and go to the EXE, COD.EXE. Right click on it, go to Properties, go to Compatibility Mode and then go to Disable Full Screen Optimization, run this program in Administrator and say Apply. Go to Change High DPI Settings Tick this box over here, I sign into Windows, tick this box over here, make sure it says application, say OK, say apply, say OK. Once you're done with that, you're just going to close out of this. Now that is one way I know that this actually does help your game not crash, especially the black screen errors and also the alt tabbing out of your game while being in full screen exclusive mode. Alright, so another way of fixing this is you go to this little gear icon over here and go to scan and repair and click on this and let it scan your game files to find out if there's any corrupt files in your game. No, I've actually seen a lot of people on Reddit and just in general on social media platforms saying that you need to uninstall this game on Battle.net, completely uninstall it, and reinstall it to fix your game. No, that's not what you're going to do. You don't need to do that at all. All right, if scan and repair doesn't work for you, all you need to do is this. go to show in Explorer and then click one file back. Now, this is where your Call of Duty is installed. As you can see, this hard drive, or while my SSD is highlighted. So you just go here, you click one back, and that's your Call of Duty. You're going to right click on it, say rename, press the forward button, press space, and say you're going to type in Modern Warfare 3, or you can call it whatever the hell you like, and then that's what you're going to set it as. Now, you can set it like this, and then all you're going to need to do is just close out of this. Now, yours might say play like this, or it might say install like that. Now, don't worry, I got you covered. If yours says play, just click here at the top, and then you click exit, and you're going to close out of this completely. So, you just close out of it, and you're basically just going to relaunch your your battle net like this you're going to come here and you're going to relaunch your battle net and then once it's signed in and logged you into your account then it will look like this i just want to show you so i'm just going to pull it from the side and then show you go to modern warfare go to call of duty and it will say install you can say locate game files click on this file here that you just made say select folder and it's going to say initializing updating and stuff like that and it will say play this is the one way i know that this actually works for Battle.net users, and I know it works perfectly fine. It might do it once or twice if you exit out of Battle.net completely once more, but I highly recommend that this will work for you perfectly fine, ladies and gentlemen. I can promise you that this Battle.net version does work. I've tested this multiple times, and I took my time and dedication to see if this actually does work, and it does work. So if it works for you, smash that motherfucking like button. Leave a comment down below if this worked for you. Now, a lot of people play this through Steam. Now, I took the liberty to install this game, so you're just going to go to Properties over here, and then go over here to install files and then you're obviously going to go to this over here verify integrity of game files now this is something that a lot of people go ahead and test and see if it actually does work by verifying the files to see if there's any corrupt files for steam now i highly recommend you can try this and see if it does work if it works for you that's perfectly fine and then if your game runs perfectly fine then the verifying works now every time i do a verify it shows me that there's like 13 or 15 or 20 files like corrupted or missing so this doesn't work for me so i have a better way of fixing this for steam users now i'm going to show you how to do this and i'm going to show you what you're going to need to do now i don't know why this is a thing but apparently this is a thing you need to actually move the folder yet again like 
Battle.net, but it's completely different because Steam is a different application. It's not like Battle.net. So I'm going to show you. You're going to click on Browse, this folder here at the top, and then just go to your files like this. You're going to open this up, and this is where your game is. Now, this is your Call of Duty. You have all your files over here, and you go one back, you go common, and there's your Call of Duty, your Call of Duty HQ. Now you're going to make a new folder inside here, and yet again, you can call it whatever the fuck you want. You can call it Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, or you can call it like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is fucking broken, crashing, whatever. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare 3, and then that's the folder I'm going to create. You're going to create a brand new folder. Click anywhere, and then go to Call of Duty HQ. You're going to come inside this folder like this, or you could just cut it and then just go inside the new folder you just created and paste it inside you like this. You're going to go back and then you have a new folder like this. Now, you're going to close out of that and then you're going to right click, go to manage and then go to uninstall. Now, don't worry, it's not going to uninstall your game because your game's been moved. Steam doesn't know where that game was. So now you click install and you have it at the same drive and then make sure it's on the same drive and then say next and it's going to say starting download and it will get its files ready and all that stuff and you need to let it start downloading so it creates a new folder for you so you pause it like this you click pause you right click manage and you click uninstall and you say yes all right uninstall done uninstalled now you go back here to this folder like this i'm just going to show you you go back to that same folder so i'll go over here Okay, this is the wrong drive, sorry. I'm going to go to my other drive. This is where my Call of Duty is installed. Here's my Steam. Here's my Steam. And I go to, obviously, your Steam apps and your common. And then you're going to come inside here. And then here's your game, right? Now, it made a new folder. It's empty, as you can see. You go to this folder that you just copied your game into. And you're going to come inside here. Click on anything. Press Control and A to highlight everything. Say cut. Go back back and then go back again go to the new folder that was just created and paste it inside you now it's going to copy every single thing back or not copy actually cut everything that you just copied into the other folder into this folder yes i know ladies and gentlemen this is a touchy subject and it's a whole fucking complicated thing but don't worry this actually does work for steam you go back delete the folder that you created earlier on that's now empty just delete it and there's your new folder right now now when you click on install and it's the same drive make sure it's the same drive say install it's going to say validating right there we go validating and go to downloads and it will validate your game now this is how i know it works for steam i've tested this multiple times actually uninstalled it reinstalled it uninstalled it reinstalled it so i took the time so you guys don't have to do this you don't have to research how to fix this fucking issue i went to go ahead and looked into it to see how this actually functions and if it actually does work ladies and gentlemen now if this works for you ladies and gentlemen please for the love of fuck smash that motherfucking like button leave a comment down below leave a super thanks on my video there's a super thanks down below in my video as you're watching it right now it has actually saved you time effort and money to be honest with you because lots of people actually go ahead and go and buy the game rather on battle.net since it's not working for steam anymore then they'll go buy it on battle.net now, that's money wasting. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, as always, ladies and gentlemen, I hope this helped you, and peace out.